All right, so winter is the time for coppicing. Uh, this is an elm tree, and a few years back I cut it off right here, right at just above this uh, fence top, and has grown out. I'm going to cut it all off again this year, and uh, most of it is going to be used for uh, a little wigwam project I'm working on. But this one back here is going to be a bow. This straight piece here. Uh, but it'll it'll need to dry for a year or so. I can use about that much of it. Let's see. Right there. I haven't measured it yet, but I think that's less than five feet. Okay. Some more coppicing here. This is a desert willow, I believe. And I cut this off a couple years ago. I'm going to harvest all these branches on top that have grown up. Very straight, surprisingly straight. I have another one over here that I cut. Uh, this one was damaged by ice, by an ice storm. Most of these branches uh, were broken, so I, I cut this back quite a bit, but they didn't grow back in the same way. This might be a slightly different species, but the flowers and the leaves are the same, so it would appear to be the same tree as this one, just growing slightly different. I can't harvest this for straight limbs like this one here. And I've got some Texas kidney wood back here. Now you can find this at nurseries. You can plant this. I believe that's where I, uh, the previous owner got this plant. I cut this off um, last year and it has grown about a year so far. Those shoots can be harvested for arrows in another year. I left one large uh, stalk in place just in case the rest of it died. I've had some times where I've coppiced and the roots have died. So, But I think this one is safe to just trim it all the way down because they've been growing quite profusely. Now some of these can't be used for arrows. They look like they can but they start to sprout secondary branches Let's see if I got the right one like this one back here this one started out really straight I can't tell yeah this one here see how the branches have started growing out from the middle now some of them are are perfectly fine like this one here as long as I keep the stalk free of buds coming out in the spring It'll grow uh, thick and straight with no branches and just some branches at the top. Okay, so I had to carefully trim them or remove the buds. Uh, this, uh, I'll make a few arrows out of this, but most of this is for four shafts, for reed arrows. All right. 